if you want a map that allows you to drop the lobby's FPS and make them lag out of the game. If you want a map that has every trap in the game. If you want a map that lets you spawn kill the entire lobby over and over again. If you want a map that has the legendary snowball launcher, the mythic goldfish, and the legendary charged shotgun. If you want a map that allows you to turn invisible, that allows you to trap your friends in jail. If you want a map that allows you to shoot and drive in first person mode. If you want a map that allows you to turn into the smallest prop in the entire game. Plus it's reddish purple so it will be nearly invisible. If you want a map that allows you to go sicko mode, this is the map for you. Guys, I promise this map will not let you down. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Alright guys, so if you could not tell by the title or the thumbnail, this is the Gucci Gang hacker map. Now I'm going to start the game to show you exactly what you have to do to get to the hacks. We're not going to spend any extra time doing things we don't need to because that's it's just a waste of time, you feel me? So if you're a normal player, you're just going to walk over, you're going to grab your guns, and then you're going to go to the arena. By the way, the way to get to the arena is right over there on that pinball. You just jump on top of it. But that's if you're a normal player. You're not a normal player, right? You're a hacker. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this corner over here, and then you're going to dance in the uh, this corner. If you just want to place a cone, stand on top of the cone, then dance. If that's easier, there you go. And a cool feature I added is you can block off the entrance, which um, allows people not to come through, but you can still like see them. So if it's your friend, then you can let them through or whatever, open the entrance. You can also turn on security, so you can close the entrance, they'll be stuck up there, and then you can turn on security, which turns on a damage volume that damage them, damages them 20 health every three seconds, and it tells them to respawn if they don't wanna die. And you can also turn off security as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a little sick. Um, it also has the legendary snowball launcher. It took me so long to figure out how to get this. It has the legendary charge. That was a bit easier. It has lumps of coal. Tell me you've seen this in a, in a creative map. Exactly, man. We got the mythic goldfish. And last but not least, you know, we got the mythic storm blade and then the purple uh, snowball launcher. Now, as you saw in the intro, I talk about how this box can make you invisible. It basically can. So right now you're not invisible. All you have to do is crouch. Boom. Invisible. Who's going to suspect there's a huge person in a tiny box? Am I right? Um, here we got... Let's just go ahead and stop fighting. Here we got drop the lobby's FPS. So basically all you have to do is hit drop. And then look. You're literally lagging so bad. It's terrible. And then you can just stop it whenever you want. Here is just like healing, you know, and do what you do. This spawns three bots in the spawn room with two, two with an LMG, one with an RPG, which is the room we were just in with all the weapons. This is just four times damage. Lava. Create rising lava that will slowly kill everyone in the arena. So if you're in the arena, then you're going to uh, die by lava. Now this was difficult to do, but is the first person box, which allows you to drive and shoot in first person mode, which I thought it was a really cool addition to the map. Um, I don't know about you guys. This just allows you to go to the arena to go kill everybody. This button just pops sub to MC plays on YT on the screen. And then here we are. Trap everyone in jail. Now, what you do is you press 1. Once everybody's in jail, you press 2 to reset it. And then this is to open and close the exit in the back there. And then this slowly burns everybody in there. And you can turn that on and off. I'll show you a little clip of the burning mechanism right now. How did I not know? Say cheese. Why am I taking damage now? All right, so that's that's kind of how that works. You now over here we have every trap in the game, and I mean it, man. Every single trap, every single vehicle. These are classified as traps, so that's why I had to put them there. So I wasn't clickbaiting y'all, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, every single trap in the game. And then I bet y'all looking at this right here. Dance in circle to go sicko mode. It's exactly what it seems like, man. Dance in the circle to go absolutely sicko mode. It allows you to fly. You run faster, you get four times damage, and you get these dope zap traps. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. Now up here is just props, so you can turn into like props and stuff. And then this over here allows you to turn into the smallest prop in the game, which is a ruby. 
Um, it is actually the smallest prop in the game, um, without a doubt. But, yeah, guys, this is my hacker map. Um, if you enjoy it, I mean, if you think it's pretty dope, the code uh, will be at the top of the screen throughout the entire video. Um, and, yeah, subscribe. Also, if you want to learn how to get the uh, deluxe items in your map, I have made tutorials in the past, but I can also make them again if you've missed them. But, yeah, peace out if that tutorial helped you. Here, I'll just kind of show you what the inside of the arena looks like when you're playing the game. Oh, I can't get in there from here, so I have to restart the game. Um, or, actually, I can just respawn for you guys real quick. But, yeah, this is the Gucci Gang free-for-all map. And it's got hacks. These are where the people spawn with LMGs and RPGs, so you can just endlessly kill people. But, yeah, this is what the, the bumper shoots you into the arena. You get slime feet, whatever you want to call this. And it eventually pushes you into the Gucci Gang Arena. And it's actually really big. So, yeah. You can have fun with a bunch of friends. It can fit up to 16 people. So you can go play it in Creative Phil. But, yeah. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. You use code ChaseMCHammer in the Fortnite item shop. And, peace. <laughs>